to stand on the altar and tell people you have been a, a woman for six months. Then the preacher told him, the same money you insulted me while raising, go and bring it. And he brought the money. As soon as he laid the money on the altar, his manhood came back. Don't play with God. So if you are a child of God, there are things that don't just happen to you. God proves his presence sometimes by suffering. When God, area, people suffer because God passed by. So the wife of now, Pilate's wife, say this. Say this. You know why the dream is real? So Pilate's wife said, in verse number 19, this is what she said. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife said to him, saying, Have nothing to do with this just man, for I have suffered many things today in a dream because of him. What was it? The dream was so real that the woman passed on a note to the husband. I pray that this real God will be so real tonight that someone will write a check before he goes to bed. I say that this real God will be so real in your life tonight that someone will fulfill a promise they have always made before they go to bed. God is real. Even in the dream dimension. Can I hear an amen? Look at this. In verse number 24, what then happened? When Pilate saw that he could not prevail at all, but rather a tumult was rising, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I'm innocent of the blood of this just person you see to it. The reality of God is such that a judge can wash his hands. I say, I rule it in the favor of that Christian. He washed his hands. Whatever has been contending over your destiny, may men wash their hands. Whoever has concentrated on the affairs of your life in a negative way, may they wash their hands tonight. Whoever has been consulted to punish you, may they wash their hands tonight. Any leader where you work that has been consulted and has been pushed and bribed, may they wash their hands tonight. Why? God is real. God is so real. The reality of God in the dream made Pilate wash his hands in real life. Yani, hakukuja omundu humundu. He came in the dream and a great man like Pilate washed his hands. What are these things you are dreaming that are still mocking your life? God is real. God is real. A dream made Pilate wash his hands. Why? Because God is real. God is not a story. He washed his hands. Ha. Solomon had a dream. I'll be closing with this. Solomon had a dream. In 1 Kings chapter 3. Libra Zanda. Kali Ribiza. Raise your hands and say, God is real. God is real. God is not an imagination. God is not a fable. God is not a story. God is real. Look at this. Solomon had a dream in verse number five. At Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said to Solomon, ask, what shall I give you? It was in a dream. Because God tells no difference between dream and real life appearance. God is so real that even if he comes in the dream, he says, ask what you want. You can be given in the dream. That's how real God is. The hand of God can bless you in the dream. One time I had a dream. Some, I think four or five years ago, I had a dream and I dreamt with this great man of God. I was already, God already connected me to him and I had a dream I was giving him a certain amount of money and he was praying for me. When I woke up, there was literal oil on me. Man, I went to the bank and sent the money. 
and followed it to the text and he said, may God bless your obedience. That day before evening, someone called me and asked, Papa, can I enter your car? I said, yes. Entered and sat on the co-driver's seat and that's the end of the story. Because I was anointed in the dream. Those two lions, they are real. And those two lions. <laughs> How much does one lion cost? That's a story for another day. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So, a man as great as Solomon, God came to him and God said, Ask! What do you want? It was in a dream. In a dream. That God is so real in the dream. All these things that you are counting money, when you wake up, you are more broke than ever before. What is it? All these dreams you are about to wear, you are about to kiss the man, and you woke up smiling. <laughs> and there's no marriage. What is it? All these dreams you counted money, you are about to pay for a car. Then you woke up doing your hand like this, counting the money. Dipped your hand in your handbag. Only to find sanitizer in my bag. <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> what is all this? Because the God I'm preaching is a real God. He told Solomon, ask, ask. Shadadi, Libarada, Shada, O Lord. And in verse 9, Solomon is dreaming, and Solomon says, Therefore, give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people that I may discern between good and evil for who is able to judge these great people of yours. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, Solomon asks in verse 9 and in verse number 12, listen to this. Behold, I have done according to your words. See, I have given you a wise and understanding heart so that there has not been anyone like you before you nor shall any like you arise after you. And I've also given you what you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be anyone like you among the kings all your days. So if you walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments, that is verse 14, as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. Verse number 15, then Solomon awoke, and indeed it had been a dream. Then what did Solomon do? And he came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, offered up burnt offerings, offered peace offerings, and made a feast for all his servants. The dream was so real that when he left, he sacrificed to God. You are only so real that when you leave, they steal your phone. That's the difference. When God becomes real to you, even in the dream, the man was anointing me in the dream. I woke up with oil on my body. When God is real, even in the dream, even in the dream, Solomon woke up and went and stood before the presence of God and began to give to God. There are dreams you get and you give to God. And the Lord told him in the dream, Behold, I have given you the wisdom. Can you imagine that the wisdom of Solomon was given in the dream? And there are some people's poverty that was also imparted in the dream. Someone stole your handbag in the dream. You woke up. Unaka handbag ingine mkono naka mkamba ya ngombe. You have suffered. Because God is real even in the dream. Satan is real even in the dream. If a dream can be so real in Joseph's life like that, if a dream can be so real in Pilate's life like that, if a dream can be this real in Solomon's life like this, why do you dream of a Range Rover and when you wake up you don't have hair? Mutoto wa mungu mzima, unahota hati unanyamba. Hati hiyo ndoto unahota, hati uliingia job, ukanyambia boss. You know the things I hear? So that day, even though you are fasting, kuna kamunyambu tuna ajilia to free. He, he, because you had a dream, it was given to you. 
That pastor, when I dream like this, I always lose my job. That the only dream that comes to pass in your life is a negative dream. <laughs> Satan is more real to some believers than God. Then after that, Pastor Nikaona Nikawa in Jesu. Consensus Kuyo Pastor Nikilala, Najikuta Nanda Chokwa Kitanda. If you can dream going on a long call and it happens, you should dream of wisdom and it happens. You know, I've seen all kinds of things. A man had a dream that he was chicken in the dream. A whole, a whole professor. Aliota at Yamekua Kuku Kwanoto. So, akakula maindi, alikuwa natupio maindi, akakula kut 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 kut, akakula maindi. Then, akasikia kutaga mayai kwa ndoto, kwa sababu ni kuku. He felt like laying eggs in the dream. It is, <laughs> it is his wife that was telling him, eh, 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 aliamuka akiwa ameza mayai kwa kitanda. He went on a long call in the bed sheet. It's a serious matter. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. What is this? That you can dream going on a long call and it happens. You dream. You are in a potato plantation. You wake up. It has happened. But when you dream about money that day, things will be tough. What is this? Because God, if the devil is that real, and I've told you, Satan also doesn't joke, but God is also real, then what is your problem? That's why I'm here this week. I didn't hear an amen. I didn't hear an amen. amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Solomon woke up, and indeed, indeed, it was real. Can you allow me drop a few things, which I may not drop now, maybe tomorrow, because as we share this, the question we are going to ask them tonight is what are dreams? Because these remaining two days we are going to confront dreams that destroy expectations. If you know somebody, bring him here. If you know a husband who has tried and tried and tried and tried, nothing is working. This is their week. This is your week. Something that is good in the spirit realm will translate into a reality in your life. Something that you have been seeing and seeing and seeing that is of God will be fulfilled in your life during these three days. Can I hear an amen? Any satanic damage that has been caused by a dream in your life, in these three days we will reverse it. I don't like your amen. We will reverse it in the name of Jesus any hand of damage in your life that has been that has been caused by the enemy that has wrecked havoc in your spiritual life that is terminating promises in your life but the blood of jesus in these three days something will happen in your favor anything that has been stolen from your life stolen from your destiny in the next three days the lord will restore it to you he will restore your finances he will restore your health he will restore your opportunities that you have lost he will restore your destiny he will restore your children he will restore the things that have slipped off your hands he will restore the expectations that have been cut off by the enemy by the power of the blood of jesus raise your hands and say lord restore restore what i have lost because it's not a dream look at how real god is in the dream laborers are and look at how real the devil is in the dream. When I began the other day, I shared with you about a brother. Alikuwa nakula makofi kwa ndoto. One day he woke up and stepped on the wife's neck. He said, nimehona ni uwe. The wife said, why should I slap you? What have you done? That you now beat me like this. That a dream can happen that a husband and a wife begin to fight in the middle of the night. My name is Maurice Olo. The God whose I am. And the God whom I serve is about to translate some things into reality in your life. And it 
demonic enigma, any demonic mystery, any demonic connection, any satanic root that has been alive in your life, that has been alive in your destiny, that has oppressed your life, oppressed your finances, oppressed your destiny like this, by the power of the blood of Jesus, there is about to be an overthrow, there is about to be an onslaught, there is about to be a move of God in your life, there is about to be a reality of the manifestation of the power of God in your life. Raise your hands and say, Lord, whatever it is that is fighting my destiny, that has a root in the green dimension, I destroy by the blood. I destroy by the blood. I destroy by the blood. I destroy by the power of the blood of Jesus. I destroy by the hand of God. I destroy by the mystery that I have received in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been roots in my spiritual life, whatever has the connection of evil to my destiny in the dream world, but the power of the blood of Jesus, I terminate, I terminate it, I terminate it, I terminate it, whatever belongs to me in the realm of the spirit that is intended for my life, I command it to be fulfilled by the power of the Holy Ghost. Don't worry, we will pray. We will pray in these two days. My dear viewer, if it gets to the time of prayer, and you feel now you are not enjoying the word, it's not just about enjoying the word. You've got to pray when we are praying. These are real matters that are dealing with people. The things you see that have never happened. Ah. While wicked things, you see them and they happen. The hand of God is on you. That job belongs to you. That promotion belongs to you. That marriage must become real. That blessing must become real. That demonic conspiracy must be scattered in the name of Jesus. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. Get an offering on your, in your hands. Those of you online, connect to grace. Some things you didn't listen by accident. And after you are giving, copy your transaction, send it to WhatsApp on the same line, and ensure that a blessing is spoken over your life. A breakthrough is a man. A breakdown is also a man. God sent me to your life tonight as an instrument of a breakthrough. God climbed on me tonight to expose some of the things you are going through, that to the end he may make things good in your life. Let's get an offering and let's give to God as I speak the words of grace. Tomorrow at the same time, tune in. Share the video with a friend. Send it on WhatsApp. And let God take over the battles of your life. I refuse to smell it in the dream. And wake up and find a different reality. Solomon asked for wisdom. Where? In the dream. Solomon became wise. Where? In the dream. And when he woke up, he stood before God and he gave a sacrifice to God. He said, every encounter you have with God, either in the dream or in real life, you must always raise an altar there. How? You must always give something to commemorate the experience. This night, this was an experience for someone. You'll never be the same. Amen. Something has shifted. Amen. Always when you experience God, you commemorate that move of God. When Jacob in Genesis 28 woke up, he took oil and anointed a stone and he made a vow that of all God will give me, I will give tithe to God. Because when you meet God, you pay tithe. When you have not seen God, you argue over tithe. He said, Biblica. And the question is this, is Psalm 23 biblical? That, that is the Old Testament. Is Psalm 23 in the New Testament? Watch our mama. Believe the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe in tithing. I pay my tithe every day. I believe in prophetic giving. I give to my man of God every day. Amen. Nimekata kwenda haja kwa ndoto. Nimekata kunyamba kwa ndoto. Nimekata kuona vitu vizuri kwa ndoto peke. They'll become real in your life. Amen. May I live to witness your wedding. Amen. May I live to to, to dedicate your children, some of you that are standing here. May I live to see you a millionaire, some of you that are online. 
may you live in a short while to write me and say man of God I've broken the one million barrier nimeingia huko millions are real one man is stealing billions wewe hata kama hauko mwizi si uchoteko na maombi I reject a God that nyasaye matanyi tanyi a God that is useless God is real I said God is real Mm, God is real. Do your hands like this. I will count money. Some of you, your age mates are using saliva to count money. And you, you are using saliva. Give your offering. Shaka di habada. Likabada. Sitasema iyo. That's what you are using, using saliva for. Calibra. To hate people. Fear. <laughs> you are wicked. Just imagine what you thought. In the presence of God. You know why you are laughing? I can tell what you thought. You know why God gave you saliva? It's a machine for counting money. Because we should ask. You know, you know there are terminologies people use because they are broke. We have our mansions in heaven. You look at somebody's house and say, our mansions are in heaven. And you are 25. And you want to live for 80 years waiting for your mansion in heaven. You will. Because the word of God is becoming real to you. How to find a video come easy at it? That spirit of poverty. That epileptic spirit of poverty. You will. Unaenda tu, unaenda tu, unaenda tu, unaenda tu, unaenda tu. Mbaka mkono ichoke. Unaenda tu, unaenda tu. Have you ever seen how people count real money? Unaenda tu, unaenda tu. Si wili unakuja sasa di una. Unazi stretch na una. And you are in the house alone. Mulango wa gongwa tok. And it is seven, it is sixteen thousand five hundred. You want to pay time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Father, we give you praise tonight. We give you glory. We give you honor. Bless your people. You have made this altar. And this commission a fertile ground. As your people give tonight. Bless them. I decree a healing over every life. Over every destiny. I decree a healing over their finances. A healing over all that concern them. I decree a healing of expectations that have been damaged. I decree a new level of reality. As far as promises are concerned in their lives. Bless them. In Jesus' name. And somebody said amen. amen. Now we say bye-bye to our live audience. The Lord bless you as you give and as you forward your transaction uh, on WhatsApp. And then those in the house, uh, let's drop our sacrifices on the altar. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So you can drop your offerings on the altar tomorrow. Invite a friend. Invite a brother. I rarely teach on these things when God opens a door like this. Bring a friend. Bring a family member. Uyo mwenye nakunia kwa ndoto mlete. Muambie yu mkunio lazima ishe. Aone mungu. Mutu aseme amina. Okay, let's give to God now. The grace of God be with you. The favor of God be upon your life. The Lord sustain you. The Lord do you well. And the Lord keep you safe. And tomorrow as you come. I pray that you come with a testimony tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Can I hear an amen? Is there anyone that will come with a testimony here tomorrow? Yes, may you come with a testimony. May everything that you have heard become a reality in your life. Shalom. See you tomorrow night.